Good evening. I'm Joshua Santo Spirito. Um, this is my studio in my house. Um, out there is Hobart, Tasmania. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which I am sitting, which is the Muanina people and all of those of the Palawa Nation. And I'd like to extend my um, deepest respects to the broader Aboriginal community of Australia. Uh, elders, past, present and future. Um, so this reading is going to be a little bit different to the other ones that you've probably seen in the series. Um, if you haven't seen them, you should certainly check out all of the other readings. They've been pretty nice. Uh, this will be a comic reading. Uh, so I'm going to show you a screen, um, full screen kind of, 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 of the drawings from the comic while you hear my voice reading it out. Um, the reading that I'm going to do is one that I did last year at the, um, uh, the, the, the Readers Festival here in Hobart in 20, it was last year, wasn't it? 2019, yes, that Kate Harrison and Jane Rawson organised. Um, it was really a lot of fun. Um, it's from My Work in Progress Swallows Part 2. Um, Swallows Part 1 is a comic graphic novel uh, book that I published in 2015, so five years ago. Still working on Part 2. Um, such as the way with, well, with all writing, but certainly comics, because you have to write it and then you have to bloody well draw it. Um, I haven't even finished writing it yet, but uh, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, yeah, so what you're going to see is just the black and black line work. I haven't got around to colouring it yet. I hope to sort of finish all the book and then go back and revise it and, uh, and then I'll get on with colouring it. So, um, yeah. But before I do, I mean, I guess I guess I should acknowledge that we're in strange times. I've just been um, hanging out in this house quite a lot, as I imagine a lot of you have. Um, haven't done a lot of writing lately. I've been a bit derailed, I guess, um, by just the shift in the world. Um, interesting times. I have um, sorted out my veggie patch, ready for the winter garden. Haven't completely finished planting, but uh, I guess a big change. Uh, I've just been contemplating whether I should go back to being a professional nurse again. Uh, not a great time. I'm not sure if I, I think it's time for a career change. So I have been working a bit on my brother's organic farm and um, that's been that's been nice. So, um, but, you know, enough about me. Let's get on with uh, storytelling. Enjoy. So the setting of this particular part of the book is in on the island of Lippery which is one of the islands of uh, the Aeolian Islands, which is an archipelago north of Sicily. The town of Lippery is the, uh, or the island of Lippery is, is the main, main island in that archipelago. Uh, that's the islands where my father's family come from. And I was walking through the tourist street. Please ignore the typo in the following panel. Buongiorno. <clears throat> uh, uh, tiles? Matonelle. What are those? Now, I'd never seen anything like these heads before. Were they some sort of weird historical reference? Were they a bit racist? Catarina, questa idiota non parla italiano. Parlo con l'idiota. Hello, you like the heads. They're amazing. But, but what are they? <clears throat> so, you wish to know the story of the heads? Yeah, yeah, is that, is, is that, is that cool? It is cool if, after the story, you buy the heads. But no pressure. So she told me the story of the heads, and this story comes from the 11th century, when Sicily was dominated by the Moors. No one recalls her name, but a woman lived in Calsa, the Arab quarter of Palermo. Excuse me, you sell? Yes, merchant. Hmm, may I come up? Please. 
Hmm. Mm, your basil is your basil is no good, but your tomatoes are very, very red. She said to him, "Stay. Let me feed you a red, red sauce." In the first year that he stayed with her, she told him, "My capers." Would rival Aeolus. And he said to her, My love, I must now return to my country. No. In the second year that he stayed with her, she told him, My artichoke hearts are fit for an emperor. He said to her, there are things I must return for. What things? Obligations. In the third year that he stayed with her, she told him, my capsicum is crisp. He said to her, I have a wife and child. A family? You deceived me. He said to her, tomorrow I leave. She said to him, my basil, enough. Your basil is tasteless. Your capers are no match for Aeolus. Your artichoke heart is foul and your capsicum is dry. Tomorrow I will sail. But the woman from Kalsa had different thoughts. She placed the head with the basil growing in it upon her balcony and the people of Palermo marvelled at it. The people of Palermo said, my goodness, the people of Palermo said, look at that growth. The people of Palermo said, how did she do it? The people of Palermo made colourful clay pots in the hope that their basil might grow as beautifully as the woman from Kalsa. A black man plant pot and a white woman plant pot. <clears throat> Whoa. Um, so, you will buy the heads? How much are the tiles? And that's the end of that reading. So, thank you for listening to my very odd story. Um, check out all the other videos. Uh, if you're interested in anything else that I do, um, you can just type my name into uh, the web uh, browser of your choice, uh, or you can um, order my stuff from my website, which I'm sure you'll find if you use the web browser of your choice. Uh, have an excellent evening and uh, an excellent isolation period. Um, go well. <laughs>